Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Welcome back to Star Citizen. We're gonna get uh, started here. Uh, we're just up at Everest Harbor, Harbor, Everest Harbor, orb orbiting Hurston. And uh, if you saw right there at the beginning, um, wait, why do I have two Reliant Tanas? Uh, I am so confused right now. Occasionally we'll have like a ship duplication bug, but yeah, that's kind of weird. But um, yeah, right at the beginning of the episode, if you saw, you could actually see the big Hurston Dynamics building. Okay, so what does this one have? What does this one have that the other one doesn't? Gil okay, so this one is like a stock Tana. Because this one's got the... Um, M5A, which is a size 3 gun. I almost want to try this out just to see how it does with um, with bounties. And then we've got the, then we've got the uh, M3. Now, let's go ahead. I, okay, I have no idea. I, I obviously did not buy a second Tana, I promise you guys. So some, for some reason, there is a ship duplication bug there. I wonder if I did an account reset, if it would reset it back to the correct amount of ships. That is really bizarre. Okay, so pad number one. Let's go ahead and um, get an elevator going here. Oh. Pad one. And as you can see, we've got 201,000 Alpha UEC um, hopefully we're going to be able to get that number up to at least 400,000 in this episode. And honestly, I don't see why we can't do that. Um, uh, let's, um, while we're waiting in the elevator, let's go ahead and go to Mer Mercenary. Um, oh wait, did, I think I might've already taken, yeah, a call to arms. I took that one when I was up in my room, um, before I even ran down. We're gonna take this very high risk bounty um, though, the the group bounty. So that one, okay, we're tracked, and we're let's just let's just go. Let's just get this done. And oh, you'll get you'll be able to see the. Uh, oh no, you won't. I thought I thought everything would be all lit up. Neutralize Jar Jar Binks, what? What did that say? Come on, power me up. the heck is going on here all of a sudden like the server starts acting wonky all right we are going to jump to Kim Abovian it definitely is a neat looking ship I, I have to admit I'm still not like you know the whole fact that it folds up like that is kind of weird still to me. <laughs> um, why am I getting contact received around here? I might have to look at um, getting a, a different quantum drive that actually spools up a little bit faster.
Kim Abo Abovian? Ab Ab I don't know. I'm Abovian! And she's not gonna be there. So we're, that means we're, we're gonna have to wait around. Uh, hopefully not. Come on now. I didn't want to like slap into that asteroid and blow up. Um, so, so with that other ship not in storage, okay, it's locked. So yeah, it's not, it shouldn't be a loner for anything. Okay, so we've got an An Anvil Valkyrie here. Oh, 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 we are getting... Wait, why is it zooming in? Oh, I hate when it does this. See how it's like zooming, slightly zooming into the... Oh gosh, oh gosh. There we go. Oh, that's another Valk. I don't want any part of that. Let's get out of the uh, asteroid field. And... Let's head over to... Oh, Gregar Jinx. Okay, I was thinking... I don't know. I was thinking Jar Jar Binks. You know... Pretty close, not really. <laughs> so we're automatically gonna get a 10% bonus on this mission. Which essentially means You know, very high risk bounty, 20, uh, 61,250, <clears throat> you know, add another 10% onto that. So it's going to be like 6,100 something on top of that. So we're going to be, you know, getting a little bit under 70,000 maybe, unless there's like an even an additional bonus on top of that. So yeah, very nice. All right. Let's not get too fast here. Okay, there he goes. Let's slow down a little bit more. Avenger, or, uh, sorry, Vanguard Warden. Make quick work of this guy. I hope. Okay, he's locked onto me now. Oh, got both of his his buddies. Ooh. Okay, his front shield is down. He's already severely injured. Or not injured, but damaged. Okay, he's done. I'm gonna go and take this other warden out. Looks like, sounds like we've got a um, Valkyrie. I, you can kind of tell by the sound of the guns. Yep, you, there he was. Okay, there's another 500. Really, we only got 500 Alpha UEC for that? I'm so disappointed. All right, off to Ida. Come on, baby, let's go. See, oh no, we've lost one of our engines. <laughs> I love how the flame is just like coming out like, like normal. I 
I wonder if that, um, I wonder if the... I wonder if that Valkyrie must have lit us up or something. Now, you would look at the Valkyrie and you'd be like, Oh man, that thing's awesome, I'm gonna use that for bounties. Um, no, it's... By yourself, it's not that great. Not at all. <clears throat> so I've said over the last um, few episodes, um, the main disadvantage with the Reliant Tana is that it's not heavily armored. So as you can see, we just lost an engine. And um, yeah. So that's why I say it's not, it's not heavily arm, uh, armored. But... You know, if you if you just go in and out really quick, <laughs> um, you can uh, usually dispatch your enemies pretty quickly. All right, so we got a Valkyrie here. Sounds like there's another Valkyrie behind us. Ooh, we can fire more than one. Nice. I might actually have to go into my user settings and oh gosh and see if I can disable that that focus zoom come on there he goes all right contract is up okay so there's a valk there yeah there's two more valkyries I don't want any part of that Let's go ahead and track this target here. And I didn't even see how much money we had. Um, 272,000, so yeah. Pretty much almost 200,000. Wait, where am I? Okay. <clears throat> Pretty much 200,000, or I'm sorry, what am I trying to say? Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm looking at my clock. I'm looking at all kinds of... So we pretty much got 70,000 from that. So if we double that, that's 140,000. Plus, you know, a couple extra of these little side missions here. And one of the things I'm I'm gonna want to do. Oh, where are we orbiting over? Oh, Ariel. Okay. Um, we could actually go down to Ariel. Um. To to re uh, repair. Excuse me, repair. I don't really want to do the high risk group bounty if I don't have to. Oh wait. Oh, I hit the Z key to decouple my my look here like that. I forgot to. Tr I forgot to change it. Okay, so this is a Vanguard Warden. All right, he's not going to be a problem. Objective complete. I think we... Yeah, I was going to say, I think we hit him. <laughs> Whoops. Um, let's see, what do we got here? Oh, Hurricane. Okay, let's just go ahead and take these guys out really quick. This will be... You know, extra thousand or two. 
Okay, that was a thousand right there. Oh, there he is. And we got another hurricane, so this will probably be another thousand. Ouch, ouch, ouch. And 1,200, okay. I'll take that. All right, so I'm gonna look around for the to the planet. I don't see any waypoints. So what I'm gonna do, uh, what I'm gonna do is just quantum direct the aerial. Okay, I'm too close now. All right, so there's Lathan. There's Bedzak. Let's just go down. Well, oh gosh. <gasps> oh, did you see that piece of space junk that just flew under us? Oh man. That gave me the herba gerbas. So I'm going to take any of the v VHRTs or very high risk targets we get. Coming in upside down, we're going to want to use Q or E to roll the ship. So I'm going to use Q, and we're just going to go full throttle. I am going to use K to bring us to um, horizontal flight here. And if I tap the B key, it, which is currently the only way to show your waypoints, is to spool your quantum drive. We've got about 14 kilometers to go. So there's a spot right there. That's most likely, wait, is that it? Oh no, that wasn't it. Should be right in here somewhere. Yep, there's one of the, there's the, both pads right there. All right, gear down. Cruise off. Okay. Please let me reload. Yeah, there we go. All right. So, yeah, we're missing an engine. Okay, so there's one of the refueling. Or, no, that was the rearming. Those are the two refuelings. And then repair should be next. There is my engine back. And uh, we should be good as new. And we'll just go ahead and take off. Landing gear up. And I'm just going to, you know, point up about, you know, 90 degrees, which is straight up. And then where is, where is the enemy? Oh, he's way out there. Now... Very high risk group bounty. I want to take that one first. So I'm going to track that one. And of course. There's none here at Ariel, so. Come on. And away we go.
Why is it not showing a target at Aberdeen now? No, target's location. <clears> okay, <throat> hey, that's kind of weird. So I'm not going to have a waypoint to go to. Oh, there he is. Neutralize. This is going to be. Oh, it's a warden. Okay. I thought it was going to be a uh, Valkyrie for sure. Okay, he's locked on to me. Okay, and again, there's big, there's like a big single red laser thing that shoots out. I don't want any part of that one. Wow. I love these ships. Okay, let's go to Dyrar Grady. So we're almost to 300 right now, and how long has it been since the beginning of the episode? Like, not even 20 minutes, I don't think. Okay, again, as soon as I drop out of Quantum, I'm tapping that B button to spool up my drive again every time and sometimes we do have to recalibrate just like that Oh, there he is. Come on, bring that nose, bring that course up. Another warden. Space break going here. Ooh, almost had him. Is that a Cutlass Black? I think that is. Come on! What is it? Finally. Yep, Cuddy Black here. Ouch. That scatter gun is doing tons of damage when it hits. Okay, what now what do we got? Freelancer miss. Do I want any part of that? See how quickly we can take out a freelancer miss in this. Now the freelancer misses have um, the miss means missile, by the way, because um, it's like a missile carrier, like kind of almost like a missile gunship. But um, they've got really thick shields. Not 
not too it did not take very long to get through that okay come on spool up my quantum drive there we go And we are coming up to Ida. I think that other um, that other dude was at Ida as well. So we might have a really quick additional mission once we complete this. Gary Samino or Camino, one of the two. That's not how I would spell Camino, but probably do it with a K and not a C. But that's just me. Okay, 20 kilometers out. start breaking must be a small ship because I'm not yeah anvil hurricane just like that all right Next up, wait, track him, and yeah, awesome. He's going to be right over here. So we're up to 364,000. We're going to be to 400,000, no problem in this episode. So as a beginner, you know, or even a relative, a relative beginner, you know, we're up, what is this going to be like? Episode 10, I think, maybe? 9 or 10 or 11? Regardless, you know, in just a weekend of gaming, if you work your way up doing bounties, you're going to be able to easily make between two to 300,000 Alpha UEC per hour. So, you know, three hours today, three hours tomorrow, you're going to be probably close to two million. And there's a lot of a lot of ships that you can buy in game for under, you know, two million. He's already got a little red spot on him. Oh. Of course, I do too. Or is that just my gun? What is that? There's some more money. All right, so 383,000. Let's look at our rank with Northrock Rock Services. 
so we're up to the N and senior. So we've gone from probably, I think, around the number four up to the N and senior um, pretty quick in just this one episode. All right, let's see what we got. Um, we do have this. So let's go after him. Arnold Sneffen... Oh, Schaefer. Not Sneffensfliegeln. So we'll do... Oh, here's one of those entrenched bounties. That's a um, cave mission on foot. We did one of those, I don't know, several episodes back. It uh, looks like one of my engines is damaged again, probably from that scatter gun. Oh. I accidentally steered right to my target. Oh, I was like, what's that red thing? And I think that's Ariel. Okay, he's not going to be here. Just looking for those very high risk bounties. Come on, Arnold, where are you? Woo! Uh oh. Yeah, my en my right engine there is damaged again. This, these guys do not want to... Okay, there's the very high-risk group bounty. There you are. I'm coming for you. Vanguard Warden, no problem. At all. Okay, see those single bursts? Oh, gosh. See, my front shield is like down and oh no it's back up i think it did i think it took out like 50 percent of my shield oh come on So we're up over 400,000 right there. Um, Amir Devereaux. Come on. There we go. Chin Landers. Um, oh. I want to go to, into options. Oh, people always ask me about like key bindings. These are all your key bindings right here. Bam. 
take a screenshot. You can do flight or on foot key bindings. So if you want to change any of those or see what they are, uh, you can. Another thing, show hints. Make sure that's always turned off because otherwise you have little things flashing up on your screen. Um, let's see here. Enable auto zoom. No, there we go. Now it shouldn't zoom in on the target because the reason why I don't want it to is because I've got information up here that I need to be looking at. And if, if I'm zoomed in like this, well, I can't see it. Now, the reason why they do that is so that, um, you know, you can zoom in and track your target a little bit more easily, but I actually find it, it's a little bit more of a hindrance but you know, on a on a lower resolution monitor like a 1080p monitor, and everybody's that's got a 1080p monitor is like, what you talking about? But I'm running 1440p, um, and I'm thinking if I can ever get my hands on a an RTX 3080 Ti, um, I sh I will probably definitely go to 4K. Um, maybe. Okay, chin just disappeared. There he is. But, um, you know, on, on a lower resolution monitor, it may help you somewhat. Um, but, I don't know. And then, you know, with the, with the new UI coming out, uh, with 3.14, which I think is going to be all ships, um you know, that, that might change as well. So a lot of changes coming with 3.14, especially with ship combat, because we're going to have ship capacitors. Um, that's going to change the way all the different weapons work. I think we'll even have, I don't know if sub, subsystem targeting is going to be available yet or not. Okay, so we're going to have to go to an orbital marker here. Uh-oh. Got to get around the planet. Chen Dor Jordan. So we had Chin and Chen. Okay. The only time I might want to zoom in is to get... There we go. That's better. Drew Seaborn. Were they born in the sea? Probably not. Four hundred and six thousand. So this is going to put us at four hundred and seventy thousand ish. There he goes. Another warden. I don't even think he's detected it. Oh, there he goes. I love this ship, I'm telling you guys. For doing bounties, it's one of the better ones. The only one I think I might like better is, like again, the Freelancer Miss. And I'm really kind of like back and forth between, should I buy a, should I buy a Cutlass Black and just do mining, you know, kind of to, break the monotony of doing bounties or should I keep doing bounties and save up and just get a freelancer miss now the other thing I could do is I could just do bounties off screen um, you know and not record every single minute I mean literally every moment from when I first started the series to now has been here for you to see 
except for maybe a few time lapses and stuff. But other than that, like everything's here. Everything's here for you. So if you guys want me to keep doing the series like this, let me know in the comments. Or if you don't mind me doing, you know, things off screen in order to kind of advance things, um, you know, let me know as well. Okay, we are going into the dark. Okay, I'm gonna space break a bit. I've got like all, like three of his shields down. He's gonna be done. He's almost done right now. See, like he's probably trying to flip and run. Oh, maybe not. Oh, blew something off, blew something else off. Whoop. Okay, server's getting a little wonky here. Okay, we got a Vanguard Warden down here. So there is, let's see, did it say how much we... Locate bounties. Group warrant completed, yeah, yeah, yeah. Six, what does that say, 62,950? And then another 1,500. Really? We, why did we not only get 6,250? We had to have gotten more than 6,250 with the bonus. All right. So give me, wait, wait where are we? Where are we? I just want to path out of here. Okay, let's go this direction. Four hundred and seventy-five thousand Alpha UEC. And what are we at? Is it really only been forty minutes? I gotta. I have to look at this. Yeah, like forty. A little over 40 minutes, like 43 minutes, something like that. I just had to tab to look at my uh, recording software. So 43 minutes. So we still got like 20 minutes to go, really, or like a, a solid 15. We get another, you know, very high risk bounty. Heck yeah, I'm going to go for that. Sanford Drayton, you are mine. So, yeah, so we started off with 200, what was it, 201,000 or 203,000? Maybe 205,000? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, oh, I forgot to I forgot to pay attention if my view is like zooming in or not. All right, let's slow down. Oh gosh, thank gosh I was slowing down. I, we would have like nailed that giant asteroid right there. Okay, I cannot see anything. Target 
No, target is not friendly. That is a bug. 495,000. Oh, wait. Why do we have an exclamation point? Did we get a... Well, we didn't move up too much. I thought we would have been higher than that. We got 20,000 for that contract. Bounty hunter, very high risk. Okay, we are moving. Okay, is he Sintron? Let's go see Izzy. want those VHRTs. Uh, come on, Quantum Drive. Do your thing. I'm going to knock on wood and say... You know what? We haven't I haven't experienced a 30k at all in this series. And a 30k is basically when you get disconnected from the server um, for a variety of reasons. Um, oftentimes it's due to a server crash, but not always. But I would say probably 70 to 80 percent of the time it is. <clears throat> and we haven't had a 30k, so I mean you can kind of see how stable the servers are. Even though, you know, we have kind of had a few issues in the past during the series. Overall, it's been pretty good, you know, which is awesome for a game that's in alpha and still has, you know, major key technologies that they're still working on that um, we're, we're really starting to see bits and pieces of added into the game, um, you know, especially over the last year. Um... You know, things like the iCash system, which has been renamed to Spectrum, I think. Everything they're naming Spectrum. Um, but they're, it, they're, it's basically like the, the version of iCash, which is going to be, you know, what's responsible for caching everything in the game. Basically kind of like the position, like where everything's at. Um, there's, there's, you know, been additions to that. Um, okay. Oh, gosh, we're going way too fast. What, what are we going up against? Oh, yeah, our zoom our view is not zooming in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How many can I... Okay, so there's two missiles. I'm firing missiles. Did they... Did I hit? Or did they just... I don't know if I actually hit. <laughs> oh, no, they're... Wait, is that them? Oh, no, that... Okay, what in the world is going on? Okay. More money in our pocket. Another very high risk. Still not seeing any group bounties. So we're over 500,000 right there. Well over five hundred thousand, so we've made over three hundred thousand in what? You know, forty-eight, forty-nine min minutes, something like that. Okay, we're getting pulled out by something. Okay, so this is a Cuddy Black. Definitely gonna want to take him out because he's going to have a interdiction thing on there. Okay, so we actually have a target. They probably destroyed... I'm going to turn my landing lights on. What is this thing? Oh, this is a... This is a Starfarer. That's actually the size of my ship compared to the Starfarer that's destroyed here and oh there we 
we go. Okay, I don't see really anything in his cargo hold. <clears throat> we could get out and actually see about... Um... Salvaging whatever remains. <laughs> Sometimes there's like uh, uh, cargo boxes and things like that in there. Um, a lot of times it's not really worth salvaging them because they're, you know, you might get like, you know, a thousand, two thousand Alpha UEC, um, and for the time that's spent, might not really be worth it. Even though your risk of you know, having your ship blown up or you being killed is probably pretty low. So again, I'm doing these high-risk bounties um, to earn money. Let's see. Man. Okay. If we don't have the, v the very high-risk bounty, then I might just do that other high-risk bounty just to... just to have a, you know, a higher-end group bounty to do. Hate scatter guns. Come on, get me out of here. While I'm running, very high risk target. Let's grab that. Let's see, where is he? Where's the very high risk target? Oh, he's like over there. Let's see if we can go. Yeah. Outer marker four. Man, if we could get like one more group bounty, <clears throat> we could easily hit six hundred thousand. Because we're, we're coming up on an hour here. Got about seven minutes to go or so. I think. But I mean, after this bounty, we're going to be at, you know, 560,000. Head to this comm array. That's going to guarantee give me clean line to the target location. While that's spooling up, we're going to check. Mm. Somebody else has got to be doing it. Oh. Government property, no trespassing. That is the uh, that's the warning that you get from the satellite. I guess we'll just keep doing these individual missions because we're essentially getting the same, you know, after three kills, you essentially get the same amount of money, roughly. Contact received. It would be 
be down here, wouldn't he? Okay, got a Valkyrie. getting not sure <laughs> that was some server okay done yes Verando Car Cathcart. So, yeah, five hundred. I mean, we're going to be over six hundred thousand. Whoops. Yeah, definitely over 600,000. <laughs> Our oxygen is uh, depleting. Um, I think that's a bug. You shouldn't have oxygen depletion when you're sitting in the pilot seat. All we should have to do is just get up, walk into the back, and our oxygen tank um, should replenish on our suit. But um, I think that's a known issue on, on some ships. This isn't the only ship that it, it happens on, but it's happened on other ones. Where are you gonna be, uh, Averardo? Where are you gonna be? And we got a warden. I'm surprised I haven't run out of ammo yet. I'm gonna knock on wood again. I mean, because I don't even think I've gotten a low ammo warning. So we've got two missiles. Pretty sure that's only two missiles left. Um, come on, baby. He is coming right for us. Ooh, oh, gosh. Oh, that was a front front shield is completely down. See, that's what happens when his main gun hits you twice. My shields are done, and I know that I took I know that I took physical damage as well. Alright, so off to Aberdeen. We're going to take out our last two targets. Uh, we should be pro we're probably at an hour right now really close to it if not within like a minute or so of an hour recording and um so we're just going to be right over an hour you know and, and we're going to have 600 and thirty thousand, something in that range Danjuro choke, choke, chalk. Yeah, not choke.
Anvil Valkyrie. Not seeing the ship doesn't look too beat up. I think we have more than one Valk here. Come on. Ouch. Get me the heck out of here. Okay, there's a marker there. Let's just go. Oh, gosh. Oh, my. Oh. Yeah. Okay, we're still okay. We're still all right. I know it looks pretty dire, but I love how both of my engines are gone. Oh my gosh. But see, we've got engines on the inside of those pylons too, so... Um, I don't know if we'd be able to land VTOL though. Or or in the horizontal mode. So good thing we're going into space. Ugh. I saw that asteroid coming and I'm just like... We were going too fast to just get all the way underneath it. To be honest, I thought one of the top pylons would be broke, you know, like the, the wings kind of going up. I thought that would be totally destroyed. Um, and I think it looks like we only, yeah, we only knocked one of the guns off up there. So we got away easy on that one. All right, so we got another Valk. <clears throat> Minus one size two gun. What else do we have? Buccaneer, and we got two Buccaneers. I almost want to take these bucks out. Just, just so that they're not a pain. Ow. Okay, your turn. Oh no, I looked up and my shields were at zero. Like the moment, the exact moment I looked up, we blew up. Oh, that is such a shame. Are we gonna lose that mission? Lorville, Hers we're not gonna be at Lorville. We're gonna be at Everest Harbor for sure, I think. Uh-oh. Ward 700. <gasps> uh oh. Yeah, I think we failed that mission. Yep. Part. Well, no. Party disband. See, I don't see the mission up there at the top. That's usually a sign that we actually did fail it. Yep. Failed contract. Oh, that really stinks. Well, that would have been a lot more money, but look how much we did get. 564,000. That is 300. I'm just going to say 360,000 in an hour uh, we could have had we were just it was right there we could have we were grasping for it um and we just couldn't uh couldn't reel it in but um 
still, that that should show you how much money uh, you can rake in with that that little Reliant Tana fighter. So um, now, you know, it's just going to be a matter of me um, doing bounties and figuring out where I want to use that, you know, where where I want to use the money. Where I want to use the money. Did that guy just push me? I'm just going to file the claim. I'm not going to expedite it or anything. It's like I got pushed sideways. I don't know who that was. Maybe that was him. Was that you? Um, but guys, thank you so much for joining me as we're making money here in Star Citizen. Um, as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let me know how you think the series is going down in the video description. Um, I don't want to go that way. And um, <laughs> if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe for this and many more videos. This is Star Citizen Alpha 3.13 uh, in July. July, I think today was July 7th, 2020, no, July 9th. I, you know what, I've forgotten the dates. Middle, early to mid July, how about, how about that? Um, <laughs> but thanks a lot. Um, I'm Bradham73, have a great day, night, wherever you may be, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.